Hey guys, so I've never mentioned anything about this before, but um, in case you didn't know, there is a game called No Man's Sky coming out, and I really just wanted to uh, talk about it, because I'm really, really looking forward to this, and um, I've been watching heaps of videos on it, doing heaps of stuff, but I just decided along the way that there were a few questions I wanted to ask about No Man's Sky, and um... I'm not really sure, I might come up with more as the video goes on, but here are the questions I've got at the moment. Um, which is, can you pick up your money after death? So, what Sean Murray, the developer of No Man's Sky, lead developer mentioned, who you can see here, is that when you die in, your, in space, in your spaceship, your spaceship gets destroyed and you have to start again on a life pod at the nearest planet, save up materials, sell them, make money to buy a new ship, right? So, that's all cool, but he also mentioned that when you die on land, you lose money and mat you lose some money and some materials, and you respawn at your ship. This happens in space as well. So my query is, can you retrieve your money from your death point, or can you retrieve money from another player's death point, as rare as it is to come across them? Which I think would be a pretty cool feature to add, if not, that's alright. Uh, my next question is, do you regen health? Now, this might be a bit of a stupid question. It might be really obvious. I don't know. I don't really care. It's just, it's a little little question of mine, and I'm not sure if it's going to happen. I, I'm assuming, yes, it's going to happen, because why wouldn't you? But, I, uh, you know, it was just a question I sort of wanted to get the answer to, and if not, then a No Man's Sky could turn into a very challenging game. But, um, yeah. Moving on to the next question, which was, uh, will, like, No Man's Sky be continuously updated similar to Terraria Minecraft, etc.? Obviously, it's not like Terraria Minecraft, and it's not your average space simulator, but will it be continuously updated and adding in new landmarks and structures? I personally think it will. I personally think it doesn't make sense not to, but, but you never really know, and, um, I think it'd be cool for them to update with more landmarks and new ships and they said they were thinking about updating in a uh, possible to add in a classic multiplayer later on so uh, you could play with your friends and stuff along uh, alongside the sci-fi mode or in the actual game itself I don't know if they're gonna be two separate modes or it's still gonna be the one game but um, due to that I think there will be continuous updates even if they're not fre really frequent remember no man's sky is a 10 man indie game but i still think it's one of those games that need like needs to be updated with its time and even not i do think it will be one of the landmark games for ps4 as in you know you always have the starting games for ps4 the ones that start a franchise or something and i think no man's sky will hit a sequel um not because it won't be successful enough but i do think it'll be sort of the start of a, a new sci-fi genre if you get what i mean and just imagine if hello games can make this with 10 people imagine if ubisoft or someone started making something like this uh personally i don't really want any other company to start working on a game like this not because uh, i just think that hello games sort of really made this an original title and I think if a more expensive company worked on it, it would sort of overshadow this one. And I really don't want that to happen, because I'm sure they'll add in their own Ubisoft twist or something. And I'm not really sure if I want that to happen, or whatever company might add their own twist. Now, here's another question, and uh, it's how will you be able to find your ship? Now, I know your ship's displayed on the minimap, but the quote, like, let me expand on the question a bit, is... How can you find your ship when you go through the alien temple portals or a portal on land? Is there a waypoint back to the ship? Is there uh, um, maybe a, a quick teleport? Which I know there isn't because he said there's no teleporting in it. But it, I just really want to know how is it possible to find your way back to your ship? Because I think I can see myself very easily getting lost and just losing my ship just because I've gotten lost and having to start all over again which I really don't want to happen so 
I know he said there isn't going to be a waypoint system. I don't know if that's changed because what I watched was pretty old source. But I really hope he just adds in that your ship is a waypoint, sort of. Not that you can set them, but your ship, you'll always be able to see on the mini-map where it is. That is something I really hope he adds. What he's going to do with that, or what the team Hello Games is going to do with that, I'm really wondering. So I think um, they're definitely keeping that a secret for reasons, but yeah. So that's what I really want to know as well, is how can you find your shit when you're walking through temples and portals and space stations and stuff like that. Um, and here's my last thing is, is there going to be multiple slots? So can you start a player and then start a second player instead of, say, uh, they uh, brag about, hey... In this game, you can be, you can get a uh, explorer ship, a trader ship, and an uh, an act adventurer ship. I think they're different types, and I really hope they have multiple player slots because I don't want to decide, hey, I'm going to be a trader, and then when I want to swap over to being a pirate or something, just lose my ship and my whole setup and everything just to swap to that. I'd really like for there to be multiple player slots. And I'd really like to give you characters names. I know there isn't much, there isn't any lore or story or anything, but the ability to give your character's name is really important personally to me. And it's if they have multiple player slots, which I really, really hope they do, it would be a really, really cool thing to do to add names just to give some diversity. So, um, yeah, I am thoroughly excited with No Man's Sky. That's all my questions for now. Sorry if some of them didn't make sense or they were a bit quick, but um, I'll just do a quick recap. My questions are, my questions are, uh, can you pick up your money after death? Will you regen health? Will there be continuous updates? How can you find your ship when you walk through portals or alien temples? And will there be multiple player slots? Some of them, I really hope the answer to is yes, like the multiple player slots. Wait, hang on, I've got a, uh, another little thing, so yes, some of them I hope the answer to is yes, and I've also, I also wonder, will this game need PlayStation Plus to play? Um, I really hope it doesn't, and I don't see why it would, because you're not technically doing anything purely interacting with players. Maybe the multiplayer feature they're thinking of adding on later will be PlayStation Plus only. But I really hope it isn't. And um, yeah, that's just another question I have. Is it going to be PlayStation Plus? Because if it is, I think it might downgrade it a bit. Just because having to pay $30 for three months to play No Man's Sky seems like a little bit of an overprice at the end of the day. But anyway, there are all my questions, guys. I hope you enjoyed them, and I'll see you next time.